2020 will be remembered as a year of change, but some historical markers of change may not survive the year. Lisa Fletcher went to Boston to see how that historic town is dealing with erasing history. In one of the nation's oldest cities, statues and memorials abound. From political leaders to sporting greats, they span Boston's nearly 400-year history. But visit today and you'll find something missing. Empty space, where a towering historic figure once stood. Well, this is Christopher Columbus. Protesters here a few weeks ago uh, tore down there, took off the head. Mike Wenske owns and operates the Revolutionary Story Tour, walking visitors through the city's historic past. Christopher Columbus here uh, historically has always been an example of a, uh, a brave explorer who sort of defied the conventions of his day, uh, explored the unknown, and, uh, and discovered a new world, making all that is possible. That narrative now being challenged across the nation by many who feel the explorer is actually a symbol of conquest, death, and slavery. Across Boston in Lincoln Square, the nation's 16th president and the Emancipation Proclamation are memorialized in a statue that shows Lincoln and either a crouching slave or rising man. It depends on who you ask. Soon, this statue will be taken down after a vote by the city's art commission. For many cities in the South, this has been an even busier statue-removing year. As memorials to Confederate leaders, political and military, have been coming down. While in New York, it's President Teddy Roosevelt on horseback, flanked by Native American and African American men, that will soon be gone. Back in Boston, America's first president is also being debated because George Washington, whilst a revolutionary hero, was also a prominent slave owner. Passersby have strong opinions. I mean, everyone's tied to their opinion. Um, I still think they should be up because otherwise we're just running from history. I think it's a reckoning that a reckoning with our history that is long overdue. We put up monuments to people who are for lack of a better term, slavers and rapists and genocidal maniacs. It's some of the best people watching in the city. And for Mike, the walking tour guide, statues and monuments aren't nearly as important as the history and facts they point to. The challenge of history, the beauty of history, the whole art form of history is how do you interpret those facts. And uh, with a statue, without a statue, I can, uh, I can give people history. For Full Measure, I'm Lisa Fletcher.